Hi there, this is just a quick review of uh, possibly the next painting project. This is the um, Empress Miniatures Anglo Zulu War 1879 period. British Lancer figures. I've, I've got them all in separate little piles because um, they're really little kits and I don't want to mix them up. Then I won't know which head goes with which body. You can see that, uh, for instance, this guy has got a hole for a lance there, and uh, his head is separate. Uh, I've also got separately his carbine. You can see there, hopefully, get a reasonable view of it. Let's go on the horse. And this is the lance that's supplied, which is a uh, pretty flexible. Easy to straighten out, but um, maybe best replaced. Let's have a look at these little, oops, little tiny heads. See if I can. Let's. Okay, that's one. These are just lancer troopers. Showing, showing his teeth and that. Okay, she paint up really nice. Now, I should say, the only, the only um, let's go zoom back out again. I don't particularly like this horse. This is my only little criticism of these figures. Just the um, pose of the neck. It just looks a bit artificial. I mean, I'm sure you could actually get a horse to do that or they do it themselves, but uh, it just looks odd. And the next packet is uh, some more lancers. And you've got the horses um, are moving anyway. They're not uh, not just standing. Okay, different horses. Same sort of lances. And you've got this guy with a couch lance there. And this guy with a different set of equipment and so on on the back. Let's compare them. Slightly different arrangement. Just to distinguish them all one from the other. You might as well have a look at the faces on these guys as well. Get it into uh, Get it around the right way. The bearded fella. That one. And then this one, mustachioed. Okay, so different. Then the two more lancers. There's this horse with this strange uh, pose again. Just looking for any flash or molt lines or anything. There is a bit on here you can see there. It's just the, where the metal's poured. It does look a bit. These figures don't usually require any cleanup. Okay, so what have we got here? This guy holding his lance either up in the air or pointed forward. And then this guy with an overhead uh, stands like he's stabbing downwards. And that pack's got the same bendable, rebendable lances. Let's have a look at their faces. Okay, mustachio, maybe looks a bit like the previous one we looked at. And bearded fellow, this time with his mouth open, I think. Let me just check. This was the previous pack. That's the mustachio guy. Don't want to drop any of these on the floor. Yeah, they're different. Both got beards. But one guy's got his mouth open. Shouting, and the other one hasn't. 
I don't know if it would really matter if I mixed them up. Okay, then the last pack uh, is, let's put that back to normal. These two horses, charging by the look of it. This is a simpler pack, a bugler. Let me drill that out a bit. Looks like a bit of flash on his foot there. Well, if it's not too late, it's gone. Come over there. Let's get a close up of this guy. These guys, uh, 17th Lancers, I think. Anglo Zulu War. Uh, this is the officer. He's uh, ready to strike somebody down or lead the charge. That's uh, quite a long little sprig of metal. A little tiny bit of clean up there, a little bit of flash on there. Or is it? Oh, it's, it's another little spigot. Let's have a. Well, we saw the buglers, you can see his face. Okay, it comes pre-molded in one piece. And here's the, the officer's head, moustache, mouth open. Okay, then there's two, well, there's one carbine in that pack as well. Anyway, um, yeah, this could be maybe uh, a nice interesting uh, project, different from uh, Waterloo figures, but not totally different. Got eight of those all together. Okay. There they are all laid out, and I could put them all back in the right packets. I'll leave it there. See you next time. Bye.